Boyd XL has dominated equestrian driving over the last decade, and 2018 was no different. We look back on his remarkable year, which began with the defense of his World Cup title in Bordeaux last February. Boyd XL for Australia, he's got plenty of time. He's going to stop the clock with at least three or four seconds ahead of the time, five seconds in fact. What a man, what an incredible driving team. Boyd XL, the 2018 FEI World Cup driving champion here in Bordeaux, his eighth title. What a man. Following his triumph at the FEI World Cup driving final, attention then turned to the outdoor season, with the main focus being the FEI World Equestrian Games in Tryon, North Carolina. This time we did a good dressage. I'm very pleased with that. Cross country, we had some self-sabotage home sort of adjustments on our carriage that didn't go to plan. And then, you know, I, I didn't drive particularly well on the marathon. So I was happy with the end result, but not thrilled about the performance. Cone driving again, um, we were second place in the cone, so very pleased with that. For me, winning is one part of it, but also the performance involved in the championship. Because we, we plan a year or two or four years ahead. So, um, yeah, I, I like I'm not always about which place I come, it's more about how was my performance through the weekend. Boyd not only sealed his third individual World Equestrian Games gold medal, but he also had a hand in the team gold, training the USA's Misty Wrigley Miller. It was incredible. You know, we thought the Americans had a good chance to be on the podium. If we could get Misty and Chester to deliver in the dressage, that gave them a good head start. And um, we needed then Jimmy and Chester's experience, you know, their 20, 30 year experience to come through on the cross country in cones. And it was quite important, tactically wise, that Misty completed the marathon. And so we chose routes accordingly um, to support her performance in the dressage. And, you know, she was the star pitcher in the program. It's a bit of a weird sensation because of Chester's one of my main rivals. So, you know, to be a linchpin in helping Misty to help Team America and Chester get their team gold, which has been eluding them. They've had bronzes and silvers, but um, for team gold, it was fantastic. So I was over the moon. I was more pleased for Misty than I probably was for, my, for myself. Just over one month later, and the indoor FEI World Cup season got underway, a competition that Boyd has dominated over the last decade. The big difference between indoor driving and outdoor driving is the intensity of an indoor performance in three minutes. You know, one small adjustment becomes a, a big mistake. You know, you get the domino effect very quickly with indoor driving. You know, there's four or five drivers that are very high at the moment, you know. Kozeron, Bram Shadon, Eisbrand, uh, Glenn Gertz is fast, um, and Jerome Butez. So there's five or six drivers at the moment that could do very well at the final in Bordeaux. Crucial to Boyd's winning formula are his backstep and navigator, who helped to guide the carriage. Hugh Scott Barrett absolutely um, he has heightened senses on split times, on performances where people are losing or gaining times. He gives me that information while I'm going around. And Emma Olsen, she's my navigator and she's got a photographic memory. She can learn the course, walk the course once and then she's learnt it already. So she's vital to keeping me sort of on track. Next month in Bordeaux, Boyd will look to make it a remarkable nine World Cup wins in 11 seasons. It's always a welcoming public and every year they've become more and more educated. The drivers are much closer in performance. You know, we're winning within 0.25 of a second or half a second of each other over a minute and a half's course, which is, which is really like, uh, you have to be very critical of your lines and how your rein handling is. If you're not smooth enough in your rein handling, you tend to stall your horses. Indoor driving has the magic formula of sport plus entertainment plus intense competition. With the competition closer than ever before, join us next month to find out who will be crowned driving's FEI World Cup champion in Bordeaux.